Fleming and Ross Hutchins here at the Farmers Classic in Los Angeles. How much are you guys enjoying staying in the heart of Hollywood at the Renaissance Hotel? Uh, yeah, it's great to be to be staying in Hollywood. It's uh, makes a nice change. Uh, it's not a normal place to stay on the on the ATP World Tour. So um, yeah, we're really enjoying it. Just being being in amongst the buzz over in Hollywood and uh, going out and you know see the stars on the pavement and stuff and having dinner there each night. It's a great buzz about the place and. Uh, and it's just great to be in LA in general, you know, it's, uh, it's beautiful, beautiful weather here and uh, beautiful places, so uh, it's a really nice tournament to come and play. You guys have reached two ATP World Tour semifinals, most recently at the Atlanta Tennis Championships. How do you feel your partnership is working thus far? We're playing well. We've, we've had a pretty good year so far. Um, strange sort of scenarios happening, getting injured, one of us. I missed a lot of the year at the start of the year. Uh, but we had a good grass court season and then played well in Atlanta. Um, and yeah, the two semi finals have been good. A shame we haven't converted them, but you know, it's, uh, tennis is um, a long career if you, if you play doubles with the same partner. Um, and um, you know, we, we hope to have a good, good partnership together and, and uh, have some more good results. At Wimbledon, you were the first British men's doubles team to advance to the quarterfinals since 1993. What was that experience like for you guys? Um, yeah, it was unbelievable, uh, unforgettable experience for us to, to be uh, reach our first Grand Slam quarterfinal to do it at home Grand Slam at Wimbledon. Um, you know, we had our families there cheering us on, and uh, it was just a really nice, really nice occasion, and uh, it was a really, really great sort of buzz for us. So we were really close to making the semis as well. Uh, we just lost out to to Cass and Pay, who played a great fifth set, but. Um, yeah, we'll never forget that, and, and hopefully we can uh, and have, have a few more runs like that in the future. Each of you have won two ATP World Tour titles with other partners. What is it going to take to get that first title together? Uh, hopefully not much. I think I think we're playing well enough to win titles. I think uh, it's not on, you know it's a priority to play well and to keep improving and to keep working on you know playing good tennis as a team and uh, keep learning each other even more than we have uh, done so far, but. It won't take much and I'm sure it's around the corner. If it's not, we'll just keep trying to improve our ranking and keep trying to get into big ATP World Tour tournaments and, and aim for the uh, to get in the Masters uh, you know, next year and, and uh, play all the top tournaments and to keep playing good tennis. And if you had to pick one actor to play your doubles partner in a movie, who would it be and why? Wow, good question. Um, <laughs> I don't know, someone alien-like maybe? I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe... Uh, Maybe like the baby from Men in Black or oh, what's something like that, because <laughs> he's, as you can tell, very, uh, not the best looking guy, yeah. so he struggles. I struggle a bit, yeah. Um, for Ross, it'd have to be someone that, you know, represents his real athleticism on the court, so probably, yeah, definitely Jack Black on that one, yeah, he's real, real quick out there on the court. Comedy so value, yeah. good stuff, yeah. yeah. Funny guy as well, he likes to think so. <laughs>